The hamster was revealed as an iconic comedian, a rockin' wildcard has been added to the competition, and our mass singer detective Kyle reveals the most asked about masks, the caterpillar. Let's go. Hi, I'm Mel. And I'm Kyle. And welcome to the Talent Recap Show. You guys know what went down. It was another great week on The Masked Singer. Kyle, I really like this week. We actually had a really dope elimination and wild card. I'll let you take over. Yeah, we really did. And so we had a reveal, and that person was the hamster who was revealed to be Rob Schneider, which we predicted earlier this season as well. And we got maybe the creepiest wild card yet, the jester who came in with a lot of energy. I think I'm getting some comedian vibes from him. What do you think, Mel? Listen, the jester is either a comedian or a rocker or something. Something that is really, like, really dope. I really like this addition, but what is with these scary characters? We got rid of the baby, thank God. Now you guys have to come and bring the jester to just give me some nightmares too. Like, come on. We didn't need mm -hmm. this, I didn't need this, but Kyle, let's run it back. I think you're now 52 and up. 52 and up, right? I think so. Come on, you gotta give yourself a little round of applause here. We're not just gonna speed past that like it's nothing. You really predicted that the hamster was Rob Schneider. And once again, you are correct. Kyle, this is why you're literally the official mass Singer detective. Yeah, we're gonna keep it going this week. But you know what, Kyle? I think it's time for us to get into our favorite moment of the week. This is our favorite segment of the show where you, the mass Singer detective, Kyle, are going to predict someone underneath the mask. Now, Kyle, who do you wanna predict in this week's episode? All right, in the same vein of wild cards, we are going to unmask last week's new wild card, the Caterpillar. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. In last week's show, a lot of the comments were asking for you to reveal the Caterpillar. Once again, you've been on a roll actually listening to the comments and doing what the people want. So Kyle, give us some tea. Who is the Caterpillar? Or let's debunk some theories. All right, well, I have never seen such crazy guesses for the Caterpillar. These have been all over the place. So I think we have to address some of the biggest ones. One that I'm seeing constantly is Brendan Urie from Panic at the Disco, which anyone who knows me, anyone who has watched the show before, that is like my dream contestant on The Masked Singer. So I'm not even going to talk about any clues. I'm just going to say that I have seen Panic at the Disco live a handful of times. I'm Brendan Urie's biggest fan. He is my idol. This is not Brendan Urie. So we're just gonna nip that one in the bud. You're just like that. The caterpillar that's a no. is not Brendan Urie. That's a big no. Listen, Kyle, Kyle, you say this literally once every season. I'm gonna say that right now. So once you debunk that, totally not true. What about the next season? Yeah, I do. And here's the thing. As soon as Brendan Urie is on, Mass Singer, I'll be the first to say it, but this is not him. So the other one that I'm seeing a lot is AJ McLean from the Backstreet Boys. Um, you know, that was guest on the show. A lot of people online are guessing him as well. He does have that connection to the BB that Robin pointed out, Backstreet Boys. Uh, he also did have a lisp as a child. And some people are pointing out that in Caterpillar's first performance, you could hear a little bit of a lisp. Um, but, you know, looking into his story, he was never homeless and has never been arrested, which are things that, you know, the Caterpillar mentioned being part of his story. And he also did deal with addiction and there was no mention of that. So because of that, we have to say that that theory is also debunked. All right, Kyle, you debunked those two, but what the people want to know is who is underneath the mask? Tell us, who is the Caterpillar? All right, so this person has singing as one of their hidden talents, so it's not someone who's known for singing, but they are known for being on TV, which we did see a TV in their clue package, and the Taylor Swift connection. You might not know who I am yet, but I can say a Taylor would, especially this one. This is someone who was in the You Need to Calm Down music video. So the caterpillar is... Drum roll. Oh, Bobby Burke from Queer Eye. Bobby Burke, oh my God, I love him. Please let us know how it is, why it is him. Give us the clues. <laughs> yeah, so like I mentioned, Bobby has said that singing is one of his hidden talents. He's also mentioned in interviews before that he wants to release an album. Oh, crazy, but it feels all right. Baby, thinking of you keeps me up all night. So what better way to get his exposure out there than doing the mass Singer? So it just makes sense that he's on the show. But let's go through some of the clues. So first of all, the Caterpillar said that he, you know, that there's a theme of metamorphosis in his right. life and that's, that's definitely kind of the theme of Queer Eye. You know, their, their whole thing is kind of metamorphosizing people and getting them to be their best selves. Um, we also saw a hurricane. 
And Bobby is originally from Houston, which is an area that's known for being impacted by hurricanes. That makes sense. Uh, he talks about being lonely growing up, and Bobby grew up in the Bible Belt and felt out of place because of his sexuality. Well, I grew up very religious. There was not a day I did not go to church. So those clues line up. He also talked about leaving home at a young age, and Bobby left home at 15 and was homeless. At 15, I ended up running away from home because I, um, it was, it was kind of to the point where it was come out or or die. Uh, we also saw that basketball clue, which Robin pointed out it could be leading to BB. Uh, he took that to mean the Backstreet Boys. I'm taking that to mean Bobby Burke's initials, BB. Uh, he also talks about being in jail or having been arrested before. And Bobby Burke has been arrested for disorderly conduct. He was like throwing hamburgers at an employee. Uh, he also was arrested for driving without a license and receiving stolen property. And so one of the things that he had talked about too was he even got to the point of stealing. Uh, that could be that tie in there. We also saw a picture of the Great Lakes and Bobby Burke lives in the Silver Lake neighborhood of LA. Uh, the five lakes could also be pointing to the Fab Five from Queer Eye again. And the last clue that just was the cherry on top for me, after his performance, he was talking uh, with Robin and said he can't take his eyes off all his printed shirts. And Bobby Burke is the interior designer on Queer Eye, so it makes sense that he's talking about the patterned shirts. He even mentions eye. I mean, how more obvious can this be, right? The caterpillar is Bobby Burke. Well, uh, once again, you do. I don't know how you have this talent. God bless me with this one of these days. But Kyle, thank you for letting us know who is underneath the mask. The caterpillar is none other than Bobby Burke. If you disagree with Kyle, let us know in the comments why. If you don't disagree with Kyle and you have some more clues you want to reveal, well, let us know in the comments below. But speaking of comments, it's time for us to get into our comment of the week. So every week we choose one of your comments from the previous video and shout you out love and or hate. And this week's comment of the week comes from Lauren Kaminsky Islander, who says, Nick knows that it's Catherine and David because he said Dimba likes like Ryan Seacrest says on American Idol. Personally, I love this comment because we love a cross show reference over here at Talent Recap. And that's really cool. I love how Nick subtly gives us clues as well. We gotta pay attention to that. Kicking it off by dimming the light and spooning with <laughs> Banana split. Yeah, we definitely do. I mean, everything in this show is a clue, but I love that Nick is on to it. He, you know, Mass Singer has been very clear that he doesn't know who any of these celebrities are. So when he does little things like that, you know he has a good idea. And it also supports your predictions. So, hey, we love it. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, if you want to be featured in this week's episode, please drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts, your ideas, your guesses, even your hate. We love it. We love it all. But Kyle, I think it's time for us to wrap up this week's episode. Let everybody know where they can find you on socials. Yeah, it's came on pleasure on Instagram and Twitter. And then you can find me at double underscore M-E-L-B-A-E. But most importantly, make sure you're following Talent Recap on all platforms. We're on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, everything at Talent Recap on all platforms. Um, I think it's time for us to say that's our Talent Recap. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit the subscribe button down below and then we can talk.